Are you ready to crush it in the last quarter of this year? Do you have your strategic plan in place? Let's look at this together after this. Hi, I'm Doug Barra, and in this episode of Business Success, we're going to dive into planning for your fourth quarter to really crush it this year. Please take a moment and like this video. This lets other people know that this video is valuable and allows them to see it. So please take a moment, like this video. Now let's start by talking about why should you build a plan? A lot of people are like, what's what's it worth? Why, why should I do that? It's just taking up time. I, I don't have time for this. Well, the reason you wanna create a plan is because it allows you to have the goals and the actions all in one place so that you're clear about where you're going. It provides the critical thinking. The main purpose for having a plan is to do the critical thinking. This is absolutely essential. You see, of course you could just go out and go and start moving and start putting together something and you would get the kind of results that you'd get, All right? You can kind of think about this like, let's say I wanted to cross, to drive across country. And so I decide I'm just gonna jump in my car and I'm gonna start driving. And I know I'm on the East Coast, so I'm gonna drive to the West Coast and I'm just gonna start driving West. Well, how many times are you gonna end up on the wrong road? that doesn't take you where you need to go to get to that end result? How many times are you gonna end up in a dead end or in a cul-de-sac where you're just going round and round and round? And See, having a plan, providing yourself a map for how you're going to get to that result allows you to have the focus and do the critical thinking for how are you going to get there? Now, you might not always follow the plan. You might not even always be able to follow the plan. But you've done the thinking. So you have the opportunity to move forward. You might be saying, well, but Doug, what should your plan cover? What are those important pieces of the plan that it should really be covering? Well, there's a couple of main things that you want to make sure that you cover in your plan. The first thing that you must cover is you must have a goal. Where are you going? What is the ultimate outcome of this plan? You must have a time frame for the plan. Now, we always recommend working on quarters, and that's why I'm now talking about doing a plan for the final quarter of the year. You see, we're just about to finish this month and finish quarter three. So we have to now be thinking about what are we going to put together for our fourth quarter plan? And you want to have that plan done well before you get started in the fourth quarter. So you don't want to be doing your planning on October 1st. You want to be doing your planning at the end of September so that you can have a plan to really crush it in 2021. So you've got a goal. Which, where are you going to be at the end of 2021? And as you start 2022, what are you going to be creating? And then you look at that and you start to create what are the milestones to accomplish that goal. And finally, you take those milestones and you develop the actions that are going to have you do complete those milestones. Just like if you were going to drive across country, again, you would have milestones for where you're going to stop or where you want to get to by what point, and then map out the individual steps you're going to take to get to that point. It's all critical to make sure that you end up where you want to be at the end of 2021 and the start of 2022. 
And be sure to add in at the end of your plan for 2021 to create a plan for 2022. Right? You have to have that in your plan. Now, be sure to tune in again next week, because next week I'm going to go a little bit deeper in some of these ideas. Uh, so make sure that you tune in next week. And if you really want to have your business support you in your life, Below this video, there's a link to download our Insider's Guide to Success in Business. I highly recommend you download that book. It will give you the roadmap that you need to follow to have a successful business. So be sure to download that ebook. All right? Now, please take a moment and comment on this video. I want to know what's your goal for the end of 2021. So leave me a comment. What's your goal for the end of 2021? And if you got value from today's video, please like it so that others know. If you didn't already, please like it now and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell so that you get notifications so that you don't miss a single one of our videos. Once again, I'm Doug Barra, and now it's your turn. Click the link, download your free book. Make sure that your business is set up to win as we complete 2021 and for 2022 and beyond. I look forward to seeing you in our next video.